This lesson is about the division property of equality. Let's decompose what we think these words mean. Division, we're going to be dividing. Property, eh, that's kind of a little ambiguous still. But equality, that means equal. So we're going to be dividing things, but keeping things equal at the same time. So here's the division property. When you divide each side, so if we have an equation, we have one side of an equation and the other side of the equation. So we're dividing both sides of the equation, this one and this one, of an equation by the same non-zero, mainly because if we divide by zero, um, we will get an undefined answer. Well, actually, I should rewrite that. If we, we cannot, and dividing by zero equals undefined, which is impossible, mm -hmm. then the two sides, each of these two sides, will remain equal. So here we go. We have 4x is equal to 24. If we look at this, we can divide both sides by 4. This can be written a couple of different ways. I'll show you this way first, sort of turning things into fractions because fractions are a form of division. So we're dividing each side by 4. If I divide 4 by 4, what does that get me? 1. That simplifies to 1, so all of this becomes 1. So we just have x. 1x is equal to 24 divided by 4 is 6. So a single x is equal to 6. That would be our answer. And we can actually do the work here. We can see if that makes sense by checking our work. So we can put this back into our original equation. We have 4 times if x was equal to 6. 4 times 6 is equal to 24. But does that check out? Yep, 24 is equal to 24. Awesome. We did it. So that is one version of this equation. We can also write this differently. We can say this 4x is equal to 24. And we can show this work in a different way. We can say, I'm going to divide this side by 4, and I could divide this side by 4. So this can be written as 4 divided by 4. All of this times x is equal to 24 divided by 4. 4 divided by 4, we know this all becomes 1, so we have simply x is equal to 24 divided by 4, which is 6. Same answer, different way to show it. Now let's do a couple of problems. What we're doing is what's called inverse operations. Division is the opposite, is in the inverse operation of multiplication of times of multiplication so essentially we are looking at inverse operations here we have negative 54 is equal to 6x so this is our situation we could divide both sides by 6 so negative 54 divided by 6 oh I should I'm going to write this in the right color so we can see this. Negative 54 divided by 6 is equal to 6x divided by 6. Negative 54 divided by 6, that information becomes negative 9, is equal to 6 divided by 6 is equal to 1. So that simplifies to just one single x. So we can say this is negative 9 is equal to x. Awesome. Final answer. Now let's check our work. Let's check our work. So our original equation was negative 54 is equal to 6x. If negative 9 was in there for x instead, we could say negative 54 is equal to 6 times negative 9. 6 times negative 9 equals negative 54. Oh my goodness, I think we did it. Negative 54 is equal to, neg is equal to negative 54. Awesome. That works. Let's do this other equation now. I've decided to change my colors. I'm going to use blue now. We have 7 times a is equal to 63. 
Notice when I say this, this is 7 times a. We have 7 and a close together, so we can essentially say they're multiplying each other. I'm going to redo that so we can see that time sign. We have times, 7 times a is equal to 63. So let's do the inverse operation. This time I'm going to show you the division as a fraction form. So we can do 7. Let me do this in the right colors. We have 7 times a. We're going to divide it by 7. Okay. And this side we have 63. And we're doing this to both sides. We're doing the inverse operation of dividing by 7 on both sides. Remember, inverse means opposite operation. So 7 divided by 7, this is going to simplify to 1. So really all we have on this left-hand side of the equation is just simply one single a. And what we have on this other side, 63 divided by 7, is 9. So we can say a is equal to 9. Awesome. A is equal to 9. I'm going to write that in blue again. So now let's check our work. We can say 7 times a, our original equation, is equal to 63. Now we can also rewrite that time sign so it's not obviously, an, so it doesn't look like an x, so it doesn't look like a variable. And we can rewrite it as a, multiple, or a little dot. And so this time we're going to say 7 times 9 is equal to 63. 7 times 9, I do that math and I get 63 is equal to 63. Check, we got it. That's how you do division of inequality, or a division of division property of equality. You use inverse operations when you see something or a variable being multiplied by another number. We can divide both sides of that equation by that number using inverse operations. Enjoy.